Hi everybody, it's Professor Williams and today we're going to look at calculating a factory overhead rate and in this example we have multiple departments. So Bulldog Grade Leashes has probably more than two, but two we're going to look at, two departments, weaving and stitching. So first the leashes are woven and then they're stitched. So we're given our departmental factory overhead. So for the weaving department, um, it's $128,100. Stitching department is two ten six, which gives us total overhead between these two departments of three thirty eight seven. Bulldog Leashes has determined that direct labor hours are their cost driver. In other words, they want to allocate factory overhead based on direct labor hours. And so these are their budgeted hours for, for the period. 2,100 hours in the weaving department, 2,600 hours in the stitching department. So because we're going to do this on a department level, we're going to find a departmental overhead rate. So the way we're going to do that is I'm going to take the factory overhead in the weaving department, which was 128.1. And now I need the factory overhead for stitching, which was 210.6. And we said that we were going to use direct labor hours as our cost driver. So in the weaving department, we had budgeted 2,100 hours. And in the stitching department, we had budgeted 2,600. So in order to determine this departmental overhead rate, I'm simply going to take factory overhead divided by direct labor hours and hit enter. So I know that we're going to allocate $61 per direct labor hour of factory overhead rate in overhead in the weaving department. We'll do the same thing for stitching. I'm going to say the 2106 divided by the 2600 hours gives me a departmental overhead rate in the stitching department of $81 an hour. Now we're going to actually apply these overhead rates. So Bulldog Grade Leashes makes a small, a medium, and a large leash. And in the weaving department, the small takes 0.04 direct labor hours, 0.05 for the medium, 0.06 for the large. In the stitching department, the small leash takes 0.08 direct labor hours, the medium is 0.10, the large is 0.12. So for the weaving department, I have my $61 an hour, and so for the small leash, I'm going to say that that equals my departmental overhead rate times my direct labor hours and that's two dollars and forty four cents so that's in the weaving department in stitching we take 0 .08 so here I'm gonna say that's my eighty one dollar an hour departmental overhead rate times the 0 .08 hours and that's $6.48 in the stitching department equals sum. And I know that total factory overhead do, to be applied for the two departments for a small leash is $8.92, again, based on those budgeted direct labor hours. We're going to do the same thing for the medium. I'm going to say in weaving, I'm going to take the $61.00 multiply it by the direct labor hours required. In stitching, I'm going to take my departmental overhead rate times direct labor hours required, and I'm going to actually just sum those two. <clears throat> so for a medium leash, our total factory overhead per medium leash is $11.15, and now for the large I'm going to take the weaving rate times direct labor hours required. 
here for stitching. I'm going to take the stitching direct labor. Departmental overhead rate times hours required. And I'm going to sum that up. And so now what I know is that based on the budgeted direct labor hours, we will apply $8.92 of factory overhead to the small leash, $11.15 of factory overhead to the medium leash, and $13.38 to the large leash. I hope that this helped, and thanks for watching.